In this video, I will show you how you can track your footage in three different ways using After Effects. First up is Track Motion. Right click your footage and add Track Motion to it. Add Rotation and Scale. Place the markers on top of points that are visible throughout the video. Click Play. After that's done, create a null object. Press Edit Target and choose the null you just created. Now our null object has the tracking data. Add a picture into your scene. Parent it to the null object. Now just put it into your desired location and you are done. With track motion, you can basically track any footage that doesn't have too much motion in it. Next up is Mocha. Right click a footage, go to effects and add Mocha. Press the Mocha icon to open it. If you want to zoom into your footage, select the magnifying glass. Select the pen tool and select the points on the object you want to track. Press play. If you notice any tracking markers moving away from their original locations, just move them back where they're supposed to be and this will automatically add a keyframe to the timeline. Repeat this process until the whole video is tracked, press save and exit Mocha. Create an all object. Press create track data and click OK. Select the corner pin that supports motion blur. Add the null object and hit apply export. Add a picture, parent it to the null object and add CZ power pin to it. Make your picture invisible and align the corners with the original object. After you're done, unhide your picture. Mocha is a good way to replace any surfaces with the pictures of your own. Lastly, we have track camera. If your footage looks like this, best way to track it is with the track camera. For the best results, check the detailed analysis box. After the tracking is done, you should see tons of points in your scene. Select an area of points that are visible throughout the video and add null and camera. Now you can add any 3D model into the scene and it will automatically move along with the footage. You can also do this with any 2D image, as long as the 3D box is checked. If you have panning motion in your footage, repeat the same process, but instead of auto detect, select tripod pan. And if your footage has some zoom in it, just select the variable zoom. Comment down below which editing technique you want us to cover next. See you guys next time.